Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the patch notes, changes, updates, and features that have come with patch 1.28 in Grand Theft Auto Online as a part of the Ilgan Gains DLC Part 2. So that's right, new DLC today, and with that comes a new patch, which changes a lot in Grand Theft Auto Online. And today, I'm only gonna be talking about the highlights, but Rockstar changed a ton of stuff in Grand Theft Auto Online on all the systems. So if you wanna know the entire details I'll be sure to include a link in the description where you can check out the patch notes for yourself in their entirety but today I'm gonna to be going over some of the highlights and what I think are the most important stuff that was added into Grand Theft Auto Online so let's get started so we all know about the vehicles the new clothing the new weapons as well but there was one thing that Rockstar did they added eight casual glasses to females that were previously only available for males in Grand Theft Auto Online so if you have a female character Good news, you now have eight new glasses. The lab radio station was added from PC to all consoles for story mode in Grand Theft Auto Online. So PS4, PS3, Xbox One, and Xbox 360 all now have the lab radio station. So there was some new content that's only coming to the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. And that is nine unique knuckle duster variants available in ammunition. These are the pimp, the ballas, the hustler, the rock, the hater, the lover, the player, the king, and the vodka goes. So the knuckle dusters are available on 360 and PS3. However, the unique variants of them are not available on PS3 and Xbox 360. So you're only going to get those unique variants on PS4, Xbox One and PC, which is a shame because that's what, in my opinion, makes the knuckle dusters so great are these cool variants of these wacky and crazy styles that you can add to that melee weapon. There's also a new update for all platforms in the creator. Jobs can now be created inside of Los Santos International Airport and also Fort Zancudo. I'm not sure why these two locations were kind of blacklisted from uh, allowing you to create your own races inside of there. But nevertheless, it looks like that has been fixed and now players can create jobs, TDMs, races inside of the LS airport and also for Zancudo. So there was another new feature added for PS4, Xbox One and PC only. That is scarves and cuffs have now been added to the accessories interaction menu. It seems that every update Rockstar adds like one or two things to the interaction menu. However, there is a new feature for Xbox 360 and PS3 only. Moore's insurance delivery vehicle icons now flash a few times on the minimap. So I have no idea what that means. I have no clue what that does. I'm guessing when you call your vehicle to be delivered from insurance, it will now flash on the minimap a few times. So still a pretty cool update and I think that's pretty helpful. And on PC, there was a new update that was added that allows text to be seen when you have a strict NAT type and warns players of their connectivity issues. For those of you guys who don't know, a strict NAT type pretty much prevents you from playing with anyone in Grand Theft Auto Online or in any online game for that matter. So it's good that Rockstar is letting people know when they have a strict NAT type so that they can fix that problem. I really do like that update. And honestly, there were a bunch of generic miscellaneous fixes that happened on all platforms, just the next generation, on PC only, and on old generation only. And I'm not even going to begin to try to go over those. Some of them have to deal with the Rockstar Editor. Some of them have to deal with Story Mode and Grand Theft Auto Online issues. So if you want to check those out, I'll leave it in the description. But that is the patch note so far. It's a little less intense than Ill-Gotten Gains Part 1, but still a lot of new content that was added in Grand Theft Auto Online and a lot of positive changes that Rockstar made. So I want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. What do you think of these patch notes? Do you think it was an overall good patch by Rockstar? I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. In my personal opinion, I think they were very fair and balanced with what they uh, put on next generation, old generation, and PC. Obviously, they had to leave some things off, but it looks like they tried to include the last generation as much as they could. But yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. Once again, if you did go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be awesome. But more importantly, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you are new, you like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.